A Monarch Butterfly's Life, written and illustrated by John Himmelman. This is the title page. For Andy Brand, who as one of the founders of the Connecticut Butterfly Association, is helping people enjoy butterflies as much as he does. Here is some information about monarch butterflies. If you would like to read a little bit more, please pause the video. On a hot July day, a young monarch butterfly in Virginia begins a journey north. On her way, she lays many eggs. Her last egg is laid on a milkweed plant in Connecticut. Three days later, a monarch larva, or caterpillar, hatches. The caterpillar feeds on milkweed leaves. When a wasp tries to lay eggs on the caterpillar, she brushes it away. Soon the caterpillar crawls to the ground. She attaches herself to a fence with a bit of silk. Her skin hardens and she becomes a chrysalis. Two weeks later, the monarch reappears. Now she is a butterfly. The monarch butterfly stretches her crumpled wings and makes her very first flight. She lands on a milkweed and uses her proboscis to sip nectar from the flowers. Suddenly, a net snatches the monarch butterfly. The child who caught her sets her free. The monarch butterfly's days are spent flying, sipping nectar, and resting in the sun. In late September, the monarch butterfly begins a long journey south. As she travels, she is joined by many other monarchs. They are all heading south. By November, she has reached Texas. A gust of wind blows her into a lake. After resting for a minute, the monarch butterfly breaks free of the water. In early December, she reaches Mexico. She has traveled more than 2,000 miles. Millions of other monarchs have made a long trip too. The weather is perfect. It's not too hot and it's not too cold. By the middle of March, it is very hot. The monarch butterfly flies north. A male monarch finds her and dances in circles in the air. She chooses him for a mate. She lays hundreds of eggs on her journey north. She lays her last egg on a milkweed plant in South Carolina. She will not live long enough to return to Connecticut. But on a warm August afternoon, her offspring does. Here are some words you can know that will help you understand the text. They are chrysalis, larva, milkweed plant, nectar, offspring, and proboscis. Pause the video here if you would like to read the definitions of these words. They're great science words. The end.